Hi, my name is Roberto Federico Perez. I am a graduate student at the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. I'm currently working on my PhD in chemistry, and I'm running for the position of Director of Membership Activities at Nessie. My first experience working in sustainability projects, I would say, came right after I finished my bachelor's. I was very interested on enhancing my training in terms of environmental applications, so I did a one-year certificate on sustainable development. Uh, as part of this program, we had to develop and defend a capstone project, which generally implied taking over a local case study and improve it in terms of cleaner production. Mine had to do with assessing the chemical exposure of workers that perform cleaning and disinfection tasks at a local hospital. So I would say that this was the very first time that I was immersed in the world of sustainability. My experience working remotely on a team actually has to do with Nessie itself. I volunteered last year to start working on planning activities for the 2017 International Symposium on Green Chemistry in La Rochelle, France. This involved meeting regularly with the Nessie dedicated team in order to, in the beginning, brainstorming ideas and eventually to plan the execution of those. We ended up bringing together a group of panelists for a special session at the symposium last May, where they discussed several topics about career development that were of particular interest to the early career professionals attending the event. Additionally, we had a stand at the exhibition area where we promoted our organization. Leading up to the event, we conducted interviews with our panelists in order to showcase and advance their profiles on the NASA website. So yeah, that was, that was definitely a great experience and the most recent example I have as far as a project that came from working and coordinating remotely with a team. I believe that as a director of membership, two things need to be tackled. One of them being enhancing the experience of current members. Following the same line of thought that we got from the feedback at the International Symposium on Green Chemistry, I think a lot of our members are interested in career development and sustainability. We can take the approach of surveying our membership to figure out what the topics that spark the most interest are. And from there, we can develop workshops on those. Besides this point, I like to continue improving the ways NASI members communicate among themselves. I think the initiatives so far of randomized coffee trials are a great idea and I would like to expand on it so we have a solid system of virtual networking from which all of our members could benefit. My second point is to actually expand our membership itself. I think establishing a point of contact at academic institutions will allow us to reach an even greater audience. Additionally, continuing the online and social media promotion as well as providing novel materials in our website that attract more people are some of the approaches that I believe we could take. All I have to say is for you to go vote on the NASA website. I hope to have your support and thank you so much for your attention.